crack. It stands for Key Reinstation Attack. Ominous, right? It's a fundamental flaw in the WPA2 protocol. If you're watching this video on Wi-Fi, then chances are you're vulnerable. So, is Wi-Fi cooked? Does your Wi-Fi now belong to hackers? Is Wi-Fi security balked? Let's find out right after this. Malduino is the Arduino-based bad USB. Inject keystrokes at lightning speed, gain a shell, change someone's desktop wallpaper. With the Elite version, simply store and select between up to 16 different scripts on a microSD card. To find out more, see the link in the video description. So firstly, let's take a little look at how this attack works. I won't delve into it too deep. The 16-page reports linked below does a really good job of that. Though essentially, crack attacks the very part of Wi-Fi that creates a secure connection the four-way handshake. The four-way handshake is used to make sure both the client and the access points know the secret key, aka that's the passphrase, but without directly exposing that passphrase to creepers in the process. And then they create a session key to use for the rest of the connection period. If connection is lost and they have to re-establish it, this session key is entirely different. It's just unique for the connection period. Once the quick maths is done, message three of four of the four-way handshake is transmitted to the client. This contains the session key. However, because sometimes messages go missing or are dropped, the access point might have to retransmit that third message. Each time the client receives the message, it reinstalls the key contained within it. This resets the incremental packet number and receive counter used by the protocol. By forcing this reuse, the encryption protocol can be attacked. Oh, and also this affects all iterations of WPA, including enterprise networks. Once pwns an attacker can perform a man-in-the-middle attack between the client and the interwebs. It becomes even more problematic when the victim is using non-HTTPS websites as any data is sent unencrypted. Even if you are using HTTPS, some sites are badly implemented and simply by using a tool called SSL strip, this extra layer of security can be easily removed. Frustratingly, most people won't even realize. If this all sounds a bit complicated, that's because it is. The paper that's just been released describes this method in quite a lot of detail, but even that's several months old. The researcher who uncovered this has already found easy ways of implementing this attack, though he's holding off on disclosing those for the time being. The guy who figured all of this out has a name I can't pronounce, so it's on screen instead, though he's chosen to be very responsible with how the information is being disseminated. Instead of publishing his findings on Pastebin, grabbing the nearest bag of popcorn, and watching the world burn, he instead informed a load of vendors a few months ago, giving them some time to patch their devices. However, he then realized that this problem wasn't with the vendors implementing WPA2 badly, but rather with WPA2 itself. There's a video showing an actual attack linked below, though even now there's no tutorials on how to perform this attack. The scripts used to exploit this vulnerability are for now under lock and key, and will only be released once everyone has had a reasonable amount of time to update their devices. So onto just that, updating your devices. Is that really enough to fix this issue, or is the situation as the hype suggested? Do you have to throw away your router and buy a new one? We all know how much hassle it would be if you actually had to update your router's firmware. Luckily, that's not the case. This exploits targets clients themselves, so it looks like your router will be fine, it's just everything else that needs a fix. For people frantically trying to change their router's passwords, don't bother. Crack doesn't have anything to do with your router's passphrase. Even if you do get pwned, your passphrase still remains secure. Just make sure to keep your devices updated and you'll probably be fine. I know, right? A very boring fix. Also, don't try to be edgy and revert back to web. So in all honesty, the doomsday predictions surrounding crack really weren't all they were cracked up to be. Furthermore, Wi-Fi hasn't been immune from security issues in the past. There's a whole host of problems with it, including but not limited to being able to kick other people off any other Wi-Fi network, even when you yourself aren't associated with said network. To find out more about that, see the video I've made on how to make a Wi-Fi deauthor link in the description. Please note this whole crack thing is a rapidly changing situation. New information is bound to come out, so do keep an eye on the description and do let me know if any information contained within this video changes. So if you like this video, remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, remember to follow me on the Twitters and the Instagrams, and as always, stay tuned for more hacking videos.